Did you know that you can create 3D text all in After Effects? In today's tutorial, you're gonna do exactly that. Start with having a text layer on your composition. And then I want you to go into your composition settings by hitting Ctrl K and then go to the 3D renderer. Mine's set to Cinema 4D and that's exactly what you wanna do. So make sure that your renderer is set to Cinema 4D, not Classic 3D. And then hit OK. Turn this text layer into 3D. And then inside of your text layer, go to Geometry Options, open that up. And you wanna go to the Extrusion Depth. And basically we're just gonna extrude this text. As you see, as I do that, you can see that the text is extruding, but obviously you can't really see the 3Dness because they're all white. Basically, if you rotate this around, you can see that it's actually 3D. Before we continue, have you ever wanted to save time on motion graphics? Motion Deck Extension has thousands of animated templates that you can add to your animation. You can download a bundle pack, buy an individual pack, or subscribe if you don't want to spend too much in one go. They also have a free pack if you want to test them out first. It's so easy to use. The cool thing is you can customize them all. Check out the link in the description below to download. Now, back to the tutorial. Now I'm going to create a camera. So right-click, new camera. And I'm just going to leave the type as one node camera. And then in order for us to be able to see the 3Dness, we're going to add light. So right click, new light. I'm going to go with spot and you can choose the color that you want. And I'm going to leave the rest as is. And I'm going to name this front light green. Now, as soon as you do that, you can see that it has a bit of dimension there. So we're just going to adjust around this light. I'm going to change the one view layout to two so we can see where our camera is and where the light is. So I'm just going to move this green light to the side and I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to call this one front light orange. And I'm going to hit Control shift y and then I'm going to change the color to orange. So maybe something like that. Hit OK. I'm going to move the orange light to the left here and probably rotate it a little bit like that. So it has a mixture of green and orange. I'm going to duplicate that again and this one is going to be a backlight. And for the backlight, I'll do probably pink. I'm going to move that backwards and obviously rotate it so that it's showing on the text. And then Control shift y to change the color and probably like that kind of pink, maybe a bit more pinkish. Now I'm actually going to go under the text layer again and I'm going to add the extrusions just so that it's kind of like a bit longer and it has a bit more dimension to it. Move back to one view and then with my camera, I'm going to hit P. I'm just going to zoom it in so that we can see the text a bit better. I'm going to turn on the title safe. That's exactly in the middle. There's more stuff that you can do with this 3D text layer. So if you go under the text layer, look at under geometry options and bevel style. So at the moment it's set to none. So I'm just going to turn that into full so you can see the difference. And they have a couple of options here. So this angular, so it just have that kind of like sharp bevel and then concave and then convex. So it's just kind of like softer edge. And you can also add the bevel depth. So if I add it up, it just adds up to the softness of the convex bevel. And if I say change to angular, it will look like that. So I think I'm gonna leave it as angular for now and I'm gonna set the bevel depth maybe three. And then after that, you can also mess around with the material options here. It's basically just the material of your text to make it maybe more reflective, more darker, brighter. I'm just going to leave all these three as is. I'm just going to jump straight into the ambient. So it's set to 100. So ambient is basically just kind of like the generic light. You don't really see that. It's possible because we have three lights already. So don't worry about that. And this diffuse. So diffuse is just almost like the brightness of your color. So if you want to make it a bit brighter, I'm just going to leave it as that. And then there's specular intensity. So specular intensity, my understanding is it just kind of like brightens up the lightest color on your object. So it just almost like brightens up your highlight. Just make it more shiny, I guess. So I'm going to buff it up to 60. And then specular shininess. So it really depends on what you want your text to look like. I like to bring it up a little bit just because we have that kind of color like dark and pink color there so if I turn it down we don't have that as much but if I turn it up we have that contrast there so I kind of like that so I'm just gonna leave it at 60 and then the reflection intensity so it's just how reflective it is so as you see as you bring it up you can see that 
each letter is reflecting on each other. So I do want that to have a bit of reflection, but not too much because it actually makes it darker. So maybe just 20 is enough. And you can also adjust the reflection sharpness. So as you see here, the reflection of the eye on the end. So if I reduce that, it's not sharp. It's almost like it's dissolved. I might just leave it as 80. There's also a reflection on roll off, which I don't quite like. So I'm just going to leave it as this. Now you can also add an ambient light just to kind of brighten up the whole scene in general. So add light and light type ambient. I'm going to change the light color to white and hit OK. So obviously it's going to be super bright. So I want you to go inside of the ambient light and turn down the intensity. Maybe like 20, maybe even like 10. And I'm actually going to go to four views here and I might add a bit more light on the side of the text. So I'm actually going to copy this backlight pink and then I'm going to call it side light pink. I'm going to hit Control Shift Y and then change from spot to point. And then I'm going to bring this to the side of the text. So over there, I'm going to duplicate this again, side light pink, and maybe we'll change the color, this one, to blue. And I'm going to move this to the other side of the text. And then Control Shift Y, and I'm going to change this to blue, just so that they have a bit more color. Now we can start animating the camera. So I'm going to put the camera at the top here, and I'm going to animate both position and rotation. And I basically want the camera to end here, so go to the end of your composition and create a keyframe at the end there. Going back to the first keyframes, I am actually going to zoom it in, and then I'm going to rotate the camera a little bit. You can also use shortcut C to move the camera around. So if you hit C a couple times, the icon's gonna change. So each icon does differently to the camera. So this one is to pan the camera. So if you wanna move the camera left side, up or bottom, just do that. Select the end keyframe and hit F9 so that it kind of easy ease. I'm actually gonna bring this last keyframes to about four seconds. And I'm gonna go back to two views again and just make sure that the position has a bit of kind of curve. So if you click on your position on the camera here, you can see on your top view, the position path of your camera and you will see like handles here. So you can adjust the movement of your camera. So I'm probably gonna do that. See how it looks like. Now I'm just gonna adjust the handle of camera path again because I want the text to fill up the crane as much as I can. So if basically you click on that square thing there, it basically select your position keyframe and you can adjust the handle. That feels a bit better. Another thing that I want to do, I want to animate the light. Maybe let's try animate the side light. Select both the side light and hit P and then go to the end of the keyframe and go to two views again. Maybe move this across like that and the side light pink across the other way. So it's just exchanging the color and maybe also the front light. I'm gonna add a bit of wiggle onto the point of interest and position of the front light and see how that looks. Just a little bit of wiggle. So wiggle 0.5 comma maybe 10. I'm gonna copy that and do the same here. Okay, that actually doesn't move much. So I'm gonna add it to 100. Okay, it moves better now, so I'm gonna copy that and do the same thing with front light green. To bring up point of interest, you just have to hit A and then alt click on the stopwatch icon to apply the expression. And let's see how this looks like. Yeah, nice. You can even see the changing color in the back of the pink and blue. So once that's done, I'm going to add a bit of background using Motion Dock. So I'm using their MGAP pack and I'm going to go to background. I'm going to choose this one. The background actually animates, so I'm just going to make sure where it's full. So it kind of like stops revealing around there. So I'm going to hit Alt and open square brackets to cut where my playhead is. I'm going to bring it to the front 
by hitting open square bracket and then bring it down on the bottom of all the layers. I'm just gonna go inside there and change some of the colors. And I'm gonna open the new Kukom Viewer and Animation 3D Text so that we can see in real life. I quite like that blue. It kind of like contrasting the whole thing. I'm gonna change this icon color to white. And that's it. That's how you create 3D Text. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time.